Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp uh, Intermediate to Advanced uh, Example. Now we are starting a new video series, sub series, and in this uh, sub series, we will learn flow layout panel. So, in this uh, first part, we will uh, learn the uh, flow layout panel basics. So flow layout panel arranges controls vertically or horizontally when there is no room in a current row then the control next control will automatically move to next row similarly when the uh, controls are arranged from top to bottom fashion and when there is no room in a current column the control automatically moves to next column when auto scroll property is set a flow break won't happen but instead a scroll bar will be presented if the controls are arranged from left to right fashion then all the controls are presented in a single row and you can see the uh, non-visible portion of the controls by scrolling the presented scroll bar the same way, if controls are arranged from top to bottom, a scroll bar will be presented vertically and you can use that to see the invisible controls by scrolling it. So, so far we discussed about the controls arranged in a row or column. So, that is decided by the flow direction property. So, using this property, you can say in what order the control should flow from left to right or through top to bottom. With the flow break method, we can break the flow even before the actual row or column break happens. That means when uh, the controls are arranged left to right, let us take it as an example. And with a flow break, you can break a control even before the actual break happens. That means the actual break happens when there is no room in the current row. But with the flow break, you can even break the control beforehand. So with the flow break, you can break a control to move to next row or next column. It is decided based on the flow direction. Let's say we have a windows form and with the flow layout and let's assume that controls are arranged from left to right fashion. Here we have four controls. So let's say that user is resizing the form. So for this control there is no room here in the present row. So and the flow direction is left to right. What happens? A flow break happens and third control goes here and then fourth one goes here. Similarly, if flow direction is from top to right and if you see for the fourth control there is no room in the current column. Let's say this is column 1. Here control is in row 1. Since there is no row, the controls are arranged in two rows. Similarly, here control goes to second column. So this flow direction is decided by the flow direction property. And if we set a scroll bar, then this kind of uh, break won't happen. And all controls go here. And the invisible portion of the control, you can scroll and see. So all this stuff we will see in this uh, example. So th this is uh, the first series. Now you got an idea of what is a flow layout panel and how it arranges the control. In the coming videos, we will explore some of its properties with an example. That's all here in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.